Welcome back to my channel and for today's video, mag-bake ako ng chewy chocolate chip cookie with walnut. It's very nice for uh, coffee and for tea. It's, yeah, you should try it home, at home because we always uh, have it here at home. Like if we're already finished eating it and then I bake it again. So we always have cookie at home for tea and for uh, if you like to sin. Uh, sweet things yeah and if you like to know just uh, stay tuned and keep on watching I'm back and yeah let's get started and this is all my ingredients I got some one half cup of white sugar and one half uh, one half cup of brown sugar one egg you can see one egg and I got some uh, one half teaspoon of baking soda and uh, one half teaspoon of salt and I got one and one half one and one fourth cup of flour and I, I also have uh, melted butter here already uh, 150 gram of butter and, and one half cup of melted butter I already melted it and now yeah let's uh, mix together First, we're going to mix the we're going to mix the sugar, the two sugar, the white and the brown, and uh, and the salt. Put the salt and also the melted butter. I measure the melted butter. Yeah, it's absolutely one half cup of butter. And mix, stir together until it's like a puree. This is quite time we need to stir and stir until it. Hi guys, sorry I'm back. My battery was low, but so now I already mixed the the one half butter, one half cup of brown sugar, one half cup of white sugar, and uh, one half teaspoon of uh, salt. And then I just mix it. It should be like this, as you can see. And now I'm going to add uh, the egg, one egg. And stir. As you can see, it's like uh, very smooth now, and the texture is changing. It's like very creamy, creamy now. So now we can add the uh, uh, the dry ingredients, the flour and uh, the baking soda. Sip it. Oh, I didn't mention my ingredients also the walnut and the chocolate chip cookie but uh, you can also uh, you can use also other peanut but I think walnut will do very good in the cookie because they're they are very uh, soft not very hard to bite and of course you can also just only for uh, you can also do a uh, only chocolate with it. It's up to you guys what you prefer. And now, I really need energy with this because it's... As you can see, it's like... Uh, it should be like this. It's very stiff. And yeah, it's 
very easy to make and doesn't cost a lot of time. Now we need to mix it and it's uh, you need to have a lot of energy. I'm gonna use the I'm gonna use this one I think. This one was quite hard to mix together. This makes it now it's like a dough. I'm gonna mix my chocolate chocolate but it, normally I don't really make sure how much I put and I just put as much as I can but this time I just don't have much so I put everything And then I'm gonna put also some walnut. I don't also make sure how much walnut I put. And before I put it, I tear a bit so it's not gonna be big pieces. I was it's better I slice it already before I make this much easier but I will not put a lot of walnut or else you will just eat walnut and chocolate on top you will not taste the cookie itself anymore mm, but walnut are healthy too, so the last time I make this with resin and almonds and a chocolate also but it was quite heavy to eat it Now I mix it together. I think I'm gonna add more uh, walnut because my darling likes walnut. He likes to eat uh, with his coffee, he likes always with a sweet cake or Okay, I the other day I baked a cheesecake, raspberry cheesecake, and I still have in the fridge, but I haven't uh, video it because I was a bit tired, and so now get some time. And if you know uh, the recipe of this, you can just always uh, comment with me. And now I already mix I think together it should be like when you scope it it's like so hard it's like you can't even <laughs> dip it yeah and then this one after this I already mix together everything I'm gonna cover it with plastic and uh, stay in the fridge about 30 minutes before you bake it and while while this one stay in the fridge you should uh, preheat your oven to 180 degrees cover it in the plastic this one yeah it should be like this and yeah it's set in the fridge for 30 minutes and yeah and while I'm waiting and see you guys later and now the 30 minutes is done so I will 
put the hmm, the baking paper in the tray, baking tray, and then we're gonna start putting our we're gonna start putting our cookies. I'm first wash my hands. I'm gonna and the oven is uh, warm already and this is my cookie it should be like that it's like you can't really pour it it's like that now I can get a scoop <clears throat> you can use ice cream ice cream scoop with it but I don't have ice cream scoop so I use the for the coffee scoop it's very hard by the way so I just put like that for it is very very sometimes I can't really get it because it's better to use the ice cream scoop just like that but later I'm gonna roll it but so I make sure just yeah and then like that and then how much cookie you can make with this it's depend also how big you make circle it because I put six on the baking tray so because this cookie will still grow to make paper I will flat in a bit like that not much, just like that. Yeah, just like that. And yeah, ready for the oven. The oven's already quite warm, so I'll just put this in the oven right away and then follow the rest later when it's cooked. Uh, my cookie is done, it's cooked already perfectly. And here's my cookies, it's exactly you can see guys this is the finished product and exactly 20 minutes when you're cooking it and it's 100 uh, 180 degrees Fahrenheit and that is for today guys and I hope you enjoy watching and if you do please uh, subscribe and so you can see my next one and yeah that is for now have a nice day everyone and stay safe God bless you all bye